Hi guys, this is Lee with the Market Sounds for the week of March 3rd, 2020. Uh, the charts in this presentation are provided to us by Genesis and come from their Trade Navigator software. And this is a weekly bond market chart. Remember that idea about them testing the highs and then failing? <laughs> yeah, that's not what they're doing. Um, this is a little scary. The, the Fed raised rates by, or lowered rates by 50 points Tuesday, and the way the bond market is acting, it's like they're trying to force them to raise rates even more. Like Trump's going to get his desire to go to negative interest rates. A uh, phenomenal move here. Uh, nothing to do but to stand aside. I mean, if you're long, great. If you're not, well, boy, isn't this fun to watch? Uh, you can't really look at any levels here as being important. They're just obscene. And there, there's really nothing else to say about it. It's not something you can deal with. And I understand you want to make money, but there are times when preservation of capital is smarter. And I think that's what this is. You can't really deal with insanity. We have that in this market. Yeah, and we have them in the stock market too. How's that for a weekly bar right there, right? And they offered you no opportunity after making new highs this last week here. They uh, gapped down, gave us no chance to buy, and kaboom. And now they've recovered a little bit this week. But I, I got to say, I am skeptical about this. Uh, I mean... The way the market made a low, and I should have a daily chart up here to show you, but it wouldn't make much difference. Uh, they were down early Friday, and they took a test of that low in the middle of the day, and then rallied to close up on the day Friday. Now, that is a pattern that can bring a low in. It's a possibility. It could bring a low in. It usually doesn't happen on a Friday. That's a little unusual. If it had happened on Monday, I'd be a whole lot more positive about it. But then, you got the Fed lowering rates substantially and the market didn't really follow through at all after they did that and why should they? I know this is fundamental and not technical analysis but we have fears based on a coronavirus and we have problems with the supply chain. People are not getting parts they need from China and other parts of Asia. Lowering interest rates, making it easier to borrow money, doesn't address either of those things. I'm not sure what anybody thinks the lower interest rates that the Fed's doing is, is going to buy us. Uh, Apple, for instance, is having difficulty getting parts for their new iPhone to come out of China. They don't need to borrow money at a lower rate. That's not going to get the parts any faster. It's not going to find a vaccine for COVID-19 any faster. So I'm not sure that this is doing anything. And in fact, I think it's a little scary because now if we get let's call it an organic economic slowdown, what will the Fed have left in their arsenal to do? Uh, this is kind of a scary situation. And as I said in bonds, I know we're trying to make money, but uh, gosh, I think preservation of capital is the first thing you got to do before you can make money. And this doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. There's an old rule that says the market's never wrong. And in rule number two is in case of the market being wrong, see rule number one. I think the market's wrong. I don't think interest rates should go lower, and uh, gosh, uh, the stocks are reacting a little bit erratically to it. Again, this could be a low. It was an incredibly substantial move down, way too much in a short space of time, so a bounce is inevitable almost. I'm not going to be at all surprised if this can't hold, if they turn back down from here. Now, I will say this. In the last maybe three years, there have been maybe four lows that didn't look like lows to me. They they turned and came up off a low, even though it wasn't the classic pattern from a low. So I, I have to accept it could happen, but I don't trust it. I, I don't like this. I think we may be at least back down testing this soon, if not heading lower, and I would like the volatility to calm down a little bit so that we control the risk. And until then, I'm going to sit here and shake my head like everybody else. So that's what we've got for you today. Uh, thanks for checking in to see